What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox Den. Getting into another reaction. Getting into something new that has finally officially started airing in this new wonderful spring season, Kaiju number eight. I have heard nothing but good things about this. One of my buddies apparently reads the manga. Uh, I think he caught up pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure he started reading this only a couple months ago and he's already caught up. He's been loving it. And so he's been really expecting for this to drop uh, as has pretty much everybody that's an anime manga fan like you know there's been a couple trailers that have released before this season has officially started airing you know this first episode i think dropped i want to say what's today monday so saturday saturday or friday something like that this shit just dropped we've seen a couple trailers people anime onlys that you know have no idea about the show they saw the trailer like oh shit like this looks pretty dope i mean me included i saw the trailer i was like this shit looks pretty fucking cool i'm gonna have to put this on my list uh, I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to watch it on my own time or do a reaction series for it like some of these other shows that I do. But yeah, I said, figured, I figured, fuck it, why not? You know, we'll, we'll put it on the list and, and start reacting to it and, and maybe it does well. But I'm just excited to watch it regardless. And uh, from what I saw in the trailers, the shit looks like it's going to be pretty fucking crazy. I, have, I mean, the trailer doesn't really tell you much on what's actually going on or the world, the story, blah, 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 the plot. Uh, it just gives you a little taste or teaser of what you can expect in terms of the visuals and what maybe the characters look like. Some I, I, I feel like I think it has something to do with like monsters or something because it looks like there's in the trailer there's like these big monsters or something that are running about. But I, I, that's really all I know. I, I mean, that's all I really saw visually. I don't think they go too much into depth and what it's about, what they're trying to do, the plot, you know what I'm saying, the synopsis, whatever. I don't think they really go too far in depth in that in the trailer. They just give you a little taste, a little teaser, like, oh shit, that looks dope. Let me go check it out. And I like that about trailers. Trailers that put too much in the trailer, fuck off, bro. Like, you you basically just told me what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you, I, I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of spoilers. Some people do not give a fuck. I, I have a couple friends like that. They do not care about spoilers. They don't care. Like, some of them actually seek the way through spoilers. Like, they go out for them. I'm like, how? Why would you do that? Like, you're just ruining the experience for yourself uh, if you were to just fucking watch it. Uh, and then others, like, they don't go out of their way to find spoilers, but they, you know, fucking don't really mind getting spoiled i'm like bro nah fuck that bro i got fucking keywords uh fucking blocked out on all my social media for certain things jjk i had to do that for heavily whenever season two was airing oh my god so much shit was popping up on my fucking for you page and especially like a, a lot of manga readers like i'm a manga reader for a few things one piece my hero black clover and fucking at the time aot but that is done as you know I don't understand. Some manga readers don't just just don't give a fuck, bro. They just be posting whatever the fuck, and there's no warning whatsoever. I'm like, how? Like, I, I understand like you're, you're within that community. Like, if you're a manga reader yourself and you see that shit, like that relates to you. But like, I don't know, man. I feel like there should be some warning for you know for for fucking uh, put on their videos or clips or little edits or whatever uh, before you post some shit like that, just because, like, it could be, uh, sometimes it's, like, huge, like, the first fucking page you see, or first picture, whatever the fuck, panel, it's, like, insane, I'm like, bro, how the hell do you just post that, like, I don't know, I don't get it, but that's where, I, when JJK was airing, yeah, I had to put in a lot of keywords to block out, because not only were, like, some clips of, like, the episode, like, that just dropped, you know, popping up on my For, for You page, but also, like, then there was starting to become like fucking manga discussions and like fucking like some of the new new shit and like the manga and stuff just because like they have JJK hashtags or whatever in it. And so that was popping up on my page and I'm like, no, no, like I, I'm good, bro. I'm not reading that shit. So I had to block all that stuff out and thankfully I don't see that stuff anymore. But uh, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do if you're not trying to get spoiled. You know what I'm saying? I take that shit seriously. I like to enjoy the actual experience. I mean, I feel like it's more, I feel like it, you get like the full like gratification that you're looking for when you do that and I, I i i don't i've never understood you know not minding spoilers like fuck that i do not want to be spoiled and that's why for the manga that i do read for one piece for example i'm not like it's just me like obviously i know what's to come but i don't know all the little details so like i will i'm not gonna try and spoil it for y'all that are anime only is watching my reactions like fuck that bro so um yeah enough ranting about that kaiju number eight 
Don't know much about it. Very excited to get into this and see what the fuck this world is all about. So without further ado, let's get in the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Kaiju number eight, episode one. Very big city. CP, the animation looks really good so far. See, so yeah, we saw this in the trailer. What the fuck is that? An emergency kaiju alert. It's very interesting. Like, the characters look... At least the side characters, like civilians and stuff, they look kind of weird. What in the fuck is that? So that's a kaiju. They they call these monsters kaiju. Fortitude, three point five over. Well, just three point five. They said over on the walkie-talkie, my dumbass. That shit looks wild. The third division. So there's certain people that fight these things, right? Soundtrack, okay. It's almost like some Godzilla shit. Oh damn, it's a whole squadron of them. They're going in. The fuck is that? Oh damn. Oh. Okay, we got gore in this show. I'll fuck with it. It's literally raining blood. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yo, nah, this is tough. I fuck with it. Nice little introduction. Okay. The fuck is this? Damn, that burger look good. Yeah, you're eating that burger while looking at all that nasty shit? Oh, so th these motherfuckers. The dude in the white suit and the rest of his little friends, they're the ones that clean up after these guys? You know, I like the animation. It's 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 different looking. It gives it gives kaiju its like own vibe. Okay, them just casually walking by each other without either of them noticing each other, but it's slowed down, so they they're gonna come into contact with each other for some reason later. I don't know why, but there was some significance to that. <laughs> Thank you, little drone. Ew. Damn, that blood corrosive? Yeah, by the end of the week, you got- Look at- Nah, you got me fucked up, bro. Kafka, <laughs> Oh, hell no. Yo, nah, dog. You couldn't, you couldn't pay me to do that shit, bro. Ooh. Forget just the intestines, but just the work in general. Like, that shit nasty, bro. I'm already I already got a weak stomach as it is when it comes to medical shit with myself or just like hospitals and stuff But that giant ass fucking thing intestines guts organs everywhere. Fuck no Captain Mina Ashiro Several hundred kaiju 
Oh, so they already knew each other from when they were younger or something. The corpse commander, too. Wow, she's fucking making her way up to the top pretty quickly. Yeah, I had a feeling where he's just like... Yeah, he's overthinking and shit, but... It's reasonable. I mean, they were both apparently trying to achieve the same goal, yet he's cleaning up shit and she's getting praised for taking it down. I mean, it's honest hard work compared to, you know, this Captain Ashira. She's like a celebrity now because she's the ones taking him down. She gets more attention and more credit and whatnot due to her work. Whereas these guys, nobody really pays attention to them, but it's honest hard work. They be working their asses off. Okay, this kid's fucking determined. <laughs> They're both working on intestines. If he passed the test, oh, interesting. So he didn't pass. Is the defense defense force? I'm assuming the ones that like Captain Ashir in them. Yeah, you're trying your best, but that's nasty, bro. Oh my god, the animation, bro. <laughs> bro, I'd be using those shits immediately, bro. You uh, like, nah, I'm not. Bro, imagine the scent that they're fucking going through. Oh, nah. Very experimental jazz soundtrack right there, okay. Okay, well, they got intestines done. Good. Love that. No more smelling shit. Actual shit. There we go. Showing a little bit more respect now. A little snot nose when he first came in. <laughs> he probably felt bad for the way he acted earlier. Oh, wow. Wow, that's nice, though, of him. He was paying attention and actually gave him that info. Yeah, uh-huh. You wouldn't have gave him that info if you didn't fucking care, bro. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Oh, shit, no! Not the guy that was so nice! Already? Already? Oh, he saved him. Holy fuck, bro. I was, I was about to lose my shit, bro. Like, no way he just gets clapped like that after fucking being so nice. His first day on the job, too? The fuck is that thing? Well, he's willing to sacrifice himself. That's the way he pretty much put it right there. Like, that he's young. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. You, you want to join, right? You're a young dude. I've been here for a while. I can deal with this shit, bro. Like, fuck it. That thing is ugly as fuck. Nah, I'd be tweaking. 
Like, somebody shoot me, bro, before this thing fucking eats me, bro. Holy shit. Just barely. Holy fuck. Please don't tell me there's something already on the other side of this. He just jumped out of glass. Is it high up? Is he falling to his death? What the fuck? Okay, back to flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Miko. Oh, her cat. Oh. So, yeah, they knew each other. They were in the same town, same school. He was a little older, though. Mm, they both they both had the same goal. <laughs> and so far she's in the lead because she's a captain, she's popular. That's probably why it bothers him. Oh fuck. You better keep moving quick, bro. That thing is so ugly, bro. Oh fuck. Oh, man. Oh, his leg's fucking broken. Oh, ew. No way. Oh, my God. He came back to save him. Okay, some strong resolve, but don't die yourself. It's gonna make him feel so bad if you die for him. I mean, nothing really can do, though. I mean, nobody else is here. Like, fucking, he's brave enough to try and come save him. Oh! Oh! What the, what the fuck? What was that? That was that white tiger just now, huh? That's her, yeah, Captain Ashira. Saved by her once again. She has a pet tiger? Damn, bro. Does she have like... F does, she, does she like not fuck with him or something? Like she didn't even say hi. Or even recognize him as like someone that she knew. She just take care of the wounded. I'm out. Like damn, kind of cold. Yeah, I mean he can't deny that. Yeah, she's fucking badass. Yeah. Okay, you gotta remind him that. He keeps on comparing himself to someone that's already, like, so much more talented than himself, but, like, you still did something that was notable that day. You saved somebody. Yep. This dude keeps on hyping him up. Trying to actually propel his dreams and aspirations. That part, right there. Right there. What the fuck is that? Uh, hello? I I'm in the hospital bed. What What else can I do to stay away and be safe? Ew! What in the fuck? What in the parasite is this, bro? It's like some parasite shit. Oh, no! He looks sick as fuck! Please tell me he's, like, conscious, though. Eh? Eh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Nah, bro. That's fucking comedy. The man who became a kaiju, episode one. I'm glad I didn't read the episode title before I started this. That's fucking hilarious. There's something at the end. I, I want to make sure that it's not an end credit, so I'm just gonna chill for a second. I'm just gonna chill. Okay, a little something at the end. This isn't like a preview, right? Blind it so you can't move. So it can't move. Oh wow, they were kind of like the opposites of themselves back in the day. Like she was, just, she was kind of timid, afraid, but she ended up becoming this badass fucking defense force soldier. Literally just a pet tiger, bro. Wow, she's the one that's getting the call to report to the, <laughs> the fucking kaiju that's in the hospital, but it's really him. Oh, here we fucking go, dude. Nah, yo. Fire first episode, bro. Amazing premiere, especially with that end credit at the end, dude. What? She's gonna be the one- she's the one answering to that call. What the fuck is gonna happen? Is, is he gonna have to be, like, on the run or some shit? Or- or is- or are they gonna be understanding? I don't feel like she's gonna be understanding, dude. Any- any kaiju sees- see she- she sees? At least so far, she fucks that thing up. Immediately. Damn, bro. Wow. I'm excited for next episode. Yo, this shit's got me locked. Great first episode. Amazing premiere. That was really good. Alrighty, guys. What another... Not another. What a great first episode of Kaiju number eight. Damn, dude. That was a really fun watch. First thing that stuck out to me was the animation. It looks very unique. Uh, kind of more cartoony i guess you could say like i don't know how to i don't know how to describe what i'm seeing but it definitely looks like like really fun animation at least in terms of like the normal characters like humans character designs and stuff like that it seems like it's gonna be a funny show as well i mean i was fucking geeking at the end uh and also sometimes in the middle of the episode too so it seems that in this normal world you know pretty much normal world like identical to ours the unique thing about it though is that there was these things called kaiju that are monsters and we have to take care of them or else i mean we can't just let them run rampant or else they're gonna fuck us up and you know eat us and whatever the fuck else so we got to deal with them and there is a group called the defense force that is the ones that take out kaiju you know what i'm saying they're the ones that are the first ones on the scene answer to calls kill them and that's it you know what i'm saying and they get all the publicity they get all of the attention all of the media attention i mean they're popular same thing sort of like with like solo leveling like hunters that are really top rank hunters they get all the attention they're kind of like celebrities in a sense it's the same thing that's going on with this character i think her name is mina ashira or mino ashira i think it's mina but i know it's for sure ashira captain ashira we'll call her she is you know probably the most popular defense soldier right now that is from division three or whatever there seems to be multiple divisions but division division three is definitely one that people pay a lot of attention to just because solely of her she's a captain of this division and apparently she's in line or you know on her way to rank up to uh the commander or whatever the fuck the, the news lady said but it seems that she's been you know progressively pretty quickly making her way up in the ranks and really performing well and she's also really pretty and she's fucking she handles things very swiftly so naturally she's very popular and like i said the defense force is the ones that are always getting the attention and the publicity whereas there's another job that you could be in in a line of work in this world which is you're the ones you're a part of this crew or you know laboratory folk that are the ones that clean up after the defense force on these nasty ass fucking uh um monsters because you got to dispose of the corpses somehow they don't just disappear uh you know their blood and guts and organs and everything their corpses remain there so they have to be cleaned up and that's another force that comes and does that and it seems that our main character is a part of that force and we see like you know him and captain ashira were both from the same town same school so to speak you know they were they, they uh witnessed kaiju's dangerous actions firsthand attacking their town whenever they were younger and they both declared that they were going to become a part of the defense force and it's interesting in this end credit at the end you got a little bit more of the backstory of them hanging out together when they were younger 
and how he promised to always be by her side. And Ashira was actually more of a timid, nervous type back then, or at least not completely confident in herself, I guess, you know, kind of doubting or just scared that like what would happen like if a kaiju is actually in front of me, like she wasn't, she wasn't confident in herself yet. And it seems that, you know, our main character guy, what the fuck is his name, bro? I didn't even, uh, hold on. I need to fucking look at that. His name's Kafka. I think that's what I see the one head laboratory dude calling him once he puts him on intestine duty again. <clears throat> okay. So that's his name. Apparently Kafka. And, uh, where, what the fuck was I talking about? I, it was taking so long to fucking find his name. Oh yeah. How they were kind of opposites whenever they were younger, Captain Shira and then Kafka. Kafka was like the one that was trying to like boost her confidence or at least reassure her like, yo, I'll always be by your side. You know, he was trying to be the confident one, you know, maybe blind confidence since like it didn't work out for him the first time that he took the test for the defense force or whatever. Um, and you know, she went leagues ahead of him already. Right. Um, but he was just trying to be nice. I'm sure. And uh, I don't know if Captain Ashira seems to take that coldly. Like he seems, she seems to like treat him pretty coldly. I mean, he was injured and everything, and she was the one that came to her, came to his aid, and uh, took out that kaiju that was chasing him, and, and also about to take out the the new kid Ichikawa, I think his name is. She didn't really recognize. Uh, I mean, I, I would think she would know who he is, but she didn't really acknowledge him. She didn't talk to him personally. You know, just recognized him as another wounded civilian and then just moved on so i don't know if she like has some personal beef with him because he didn't make it through the test which isn't really his fault you know what i'm saying so i don't know if she has like a stick up her ass and maybe kind of seems like she might just because she's gotten so used to being like the top dog and like can do whatever she wants and puts her minds to and then like he ended up not being able to keep up with her but i don't feel like that's something you should really you know hold somebody against to you know what i'm saying that doesn't sound very nice but then again what do i know she's gotten the call though to go and take care of this kaiju at the hospital which is him and uh the younger kid who's new uh was like yo senpai let's get the fuck out of here so i'm assuming they're gonna leave and then he's gonna what be hunted down like that doesn't sound fucking ideal you know um so i don't know what i don't know where this goes like i don't know I, it would be nice if, since he seems to still have his own personality and, and, and consciousness and he doesn't seem like a monster himself like he looks like one sure but he doesn't like he still has the traits of a human like his his own personality that he had before and everything because he was even shocked himself he looked in the fucking window he's like what the fuck that was so funny so the fact that he still has his consciousness and personality and everything it'd be ideal if he could join the defense force as a kaiju like wouldn't that be kind of fucking crazy i mean sure it's it's never been heard of before and it's probably gonna be looked down upon by other defense force people and maybe ashira included but hey man i'll fucking take what i can get if it makes our job fucking easier and he's able to do and he's able to succeed and do that and do it really well like why the fuck not so that was really that was a really good first episode and premiere and everything so we got to see like the defense force group we got introduced to them the whole world of kaiju like being introduced to defense force group uh, the cleaning crew, which he was a part of, and, you know, obviously, like, you know, his childhood friend or the younger girl, Captain Ashira, she's leagues ahead of him in today, you know, present time, and he, you know, probably has regrets of not being able to be stronger or pass the test or this and that, and he can feel that kind of pressure, like, damn, like, she's younger than me, and she's already, like, way ahead of me in, in terms of, like, a career, you know what I'm saying? That's very relatable in terms, like, in this sense, it's unique to this show because, these careers don't exist in the real world but in terms of a career in general it's very relatable where people are already ahead of you in a certain sense in their career doing pretty well for themselves while well, on the other hand you're doing some simple shit you know what i'm saying or, or you know honest work like this like they don't get publicity they don't get recognized for it but it's honest hard work he's living a, a, a normal life you know what i'm saying and uh some people can't live with that i guess but then again i feel like you got to find the balance between what you're trying to chase and then also, you know, like a simple, normal life that's making you money. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like what I do in my own life right now. You, you know, I don't, I, I, I fucking dropped out of college a couple years ago. I should probably go back. Haven't really decided on when to go back or if I even will. But, you know, I've uh, been living a simple, normal life, fucking just doing my job and then enjoying this hobby and just having fun and hoping it takes off somewhere. 
Whereas there's plenty of people around my age that are already doing pretty well for themselves in the corporate world. Um, but it just all is a matter of like what you really want to do. And those people have already succeeded in that and are making pretty good money. But then again, you know, you hear about, you know, the shit they got to deal with at work and, and whatnot. And that's, that's with anything in life. Like you're not going to find the, you're not going to find the perfect, perfect situation unless you're super lucky. Um, but as long as you're striving to achieve what makes you happy, what also makes you money and can, you know, support you financially and just be comfortable, it all works out. You know what I'm saying? So like, even though they don't get publicity for their work, it's honest work. He's doing fine, but he, he acknowledged himself, especially with the help of the new kid. Like, Hey, yeah, you know, it's one, it's one thing to something about lying to himself. He was like, yeah, I can't lie to myself, which is very true. You know what I'm saying? Like you might feel a certain type of way, like a certain person is ahead of you. Like in this case, Captain Ashira, but he can't lie to himself. He still wants to go for the defense force, even though like it, he's kind of apprehensive about it or maybe overthinks about it. Cause he's already failed once, you know, shit like that. Very relatable. And uh, in terms of the monsters, they look fucking crazy. The animation looks great. And I'm liking where this plot is going already. <laughs> and the fact that he turned into a kaiju the way he did with some small fucking kaiju, almost looked like some sort of insect, but pretty fucking large, just went inside of him, like through his mouth, I think, or something, which was fucking disgusting. There's a lot of gore in this show, as you can tell either, uh, as, as well. It kind of reminded me of Parasite when that happened. I was like, oh shit, like he's getting infected by something and it's gonna turn him into something. And that's how kind of the story starts. And that's exactly what happened. So amazing first episode, amazing premiere. I really enjoyed it. I think this is gonna be a great watch and I'm curious, let me see if this is, it's, I don't think it's confirmed how many episodes are gonna be in this first season. I wonder if it's gonna be a one core, like a lot of these other, you know, new shows that have been coming out, like Solo Leveling was one core. Uh, Ninja Kamui was one core. I wouldn't mind a two core, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, lo I love this, like, keep being able to watch it. But, I mean, we're going to get My Hero soon, which is always two cores. So, like, I can't complain about that. It'd be interesting to see if this would be two cores, though. Like, a nice, strong first season. Like, a, like a kind of a longer one. Like, six months running on air on, on TV. That'd be nice. But, I don't know. We'll see. All in all, amazing premiere. I loved it. Kaiju number eight. You're definitely going to be an interesting, fun watch. That's going to do it for me in this reaction. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.